welcome to Canvas 101. I'm going to show you how to access Canvas from Basecamp. This is the most common way that students access Canvas. And simply look for the icon in the top center, click it. That will get you into our online learning management system. All your courses that you've registered for for the semester will be available in the dashboard. And simply clicking on one of the tiles will get you into your course and you'll be able to access the content. The home page is the starting part of your course. In this case, they've put a list of modules that have all the content you'll need for the course, but it could be your syllabus, a course activity stream, or other information your faculty has put in for the home page. Be sure and check your announcements at least once to twice a week to make sure you're up on all the key information that your faculty has posted, either by text, video, or other method. These are important things that you will need to know for that week. Also, you'll need to check your syllabus. This has all the key information. It could be a Word doc, a PDF, or some other text information that may give you ideas of what you need to be doing in that course. Generally, there's also a welcome or intro or beginning week section in your modules that will kind of give you what you need to know to be effective for the course. And then it's organized in modules or by weeks, units, sections, or other options. And here you'll find course materials and resources such as digital textbooks, PowerPoints, Excel spreadsheets, videos, and other things that may be important to that week's content. Faculty will also ask students to participate in an asynchronous discussion board where they'll have content, questions, and ideas posted that you can respond to by typing in the text box and, box and posting your reply. Then read other students' posts and reply to them to have a good engagement within this course. Usually two to three times a week you should check this area. You may also be asked to join a Cisco WebEx virtual meeting. Faculty will post meetings, have dates and information about it, and it'll be a join button for upcoming meetings. And any past meetings, you may review the recordings to see what you might have missed or to review information. Faculty will give you more information on the Cisco WebEx meetings. I suggest checking your grades at least once a week. Faculty will generally reply or give feedback or your grade within that week of being submitted to the assignments, and you will find all the information and grades on how you've done. It's a great way to keep up on how you're doing in the class. You can also use the Smart Thinking Online Tutoring as a resource to make sure you're successful in your writing, mathematics, or different sciences or other topics that you may be studying. There are online tutors that you can submit questions to, submit your paper, your writings, and even joining a group to discuss how things are going. We also have tutoring sessions or tutors available at CMC online and in the in the campuses that can help you with your coursework. One of the biggest things is go to your account and make sure your notifications are set up the way you want so you receive all the important information from Canvas as an email or possibly a text message. This might be announcements, assignments, due dates, or other information coming from Canvas. You can be notified right away, sent daily summaries, weekly summaries, or not have anything sent to you for certain areas. The other big one you need to make sure is go to settings and make sure you have the right email address that you want to use for Canvas. As a default, your Colorado Mountain email address will be used, but you can change it to any other email address you want to have or even have text messages sent to your phone so you never miss a notification. If you have any questions, be sure to contact your faculty as they're the best source to provide information and just-in-time answers to all your questions. Have a great semester.